places to get help. One of them is called the Five O'Clock Club, where you won't find people crying about their misfortune. What you will find is practical advice about landing a job. Anita Atridge is Senior Vice President of Executive Coaching for this National Outplacement and Career Development Organization. All of the people who keep the statistics are saying that a minimum of 50% of the jobs, and some would say even as high as 70% of the jobs, are never posted. So if you don't have those informal contacts, you're losing a wide opportunity of how you could find out about the positions that are available. And sometimes, you know, job search is all about moving out of your comfort zone. Kath Newcomb is a freelance media executive and producer. She says she sees herself changing along with the media landscape. The whole nature of the industry has changed so that I needed to sort of reevaluate who I am in the workplace. The Five O'Clock Club has given me, I don't want to say the skills, but helped me sort of look at it in such a way that I didn't feel, um, oh my God, I'm such a loser. This is just the nature of how you look for work these days. It's the nature of the business. Matthew Stern came to the Five O'Clock Club after the hedge fund that he was working for ran into troubled times. Are you trying to stay in the same arena? Yes, the arena that I just was working in in finance, absolutely. Um, I feel like I developed a really good skill that was quite profitable to the fund that I worked for. For me, the networking is, the, is one of the most important things, especially with the position that I'm in right now, that reaching out and not just looking for the job on the internet, not just looking for the job in classifieds, but to, uh, to move out into, into the world and talk to people. Of course, not everyone is as lucky as Steve. The average length of a job search is at an all-time high in America. For the unemployed, it takes about seven months. That's not good news. But if the economy continues to improve, we can expect that stressful time frame to shrink. For CUNY TV, I'm Donna Hanover.